Merry Christmas yeah. <laughs> to you uh, and your family. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. Um, we will then move on to the written section where there's a press where there is an embargo set at 10:30 on Christmas Day. To ensure we get through as many people as possible, please may I ask it that is just two questions per person, so one question plus follow-up. We'll begin with Sky Sports, who will kick off with Team News, who will then ask their two follow-up questions. Thanks, Rowan. Uh, hi, I'm Jim. Hi. Um, obviously, we know Richardson is injured, Benton Kerr is suspended, but who else is available for the match in terms of the players returning? Oh, yeah, how about the players that play the final and the, uh, the final for the first and second place, and the third, fourth place? Perisic, uh, Hugo, and Kuti, and uh, only, only Ivan. He came back today and uh, he had a training session with, uh, with, with us. And uh, he's available for, uh, for the game uh, against Brentford. About uh, Yoris, he came back, uh, um, yeah, to. To stay with us, and uh, I want him to also to uh, to stay on the bench to um, to stay with us for for the game against uh, Brentford. But as you know very well, uh, it's important also after the, the World Cup to give a bit of rest to these players. And uh, about Kuti, uh, he, he will be available uh, for for the next game against Aston Villa. Yeah, I hope so. I'm assuming Harry will start on Boxing Day. Just give us an idea of his state of mind. Do you have any concerns about his ability to lift himself back up after the disappointment of the way in the World Cup? No, honestly, no. No, because we are talking about uh, a world-class striker, but at the same time, uh, you know, and uh, football uh, is this, and the football... Uh, uh, you can uh, you can have uh, exciting moment, and uh, and also you can have a moment uh, that you are a bit disappointed because you uh, you missed the penalty, the second penalty, no, and because the first uh, he, he scored. But uh, me and uh, when I was player, uh, I never missed the penalty, uh, but because. <laughs> I didn't kick. <laughs> you understand? Never, never, because I was really a disaster about it. Yeah. But uh, with the penalty, I lost the World Cup and against Brazil. And um, yeah, I think that uh, you live this moment and you are really uh, disappointed. And um, for sure, the first period you are uh, you are sad. You are a bit sad, but then you know that. Uh, you have to move on. Football gives you the opportunity, and then to uh, to have uh, other chances and to yeah to enjoy to enjoy football. Because uh, don't forget that uh, we do this uh, this job, and uh, also we are really lucky because we can enjoy. No, we can enjoy uh, this sport, and uh, football gives us the the, the possibility. Um, yeah, to play, to play, and uh, uh, yeah, to play in uh, the sport that uh, we we have a lot of passion. Yeah, but honestly, and uh, I'm not I'm not uh, uh, worried about about it. And uh, I saw him uh, very well uh, in these uh, two days with us. No, but I, I think that um, yeah, I, I'd like also in in the future and uh, don't speak no about this uh, uh, this matter in uh, in the press conference because I think that uh, uh, is uh, much more important uh, the game that we are going to play now in this case uh, against Brentford, but. Uh, yeah. 
what uh, uh, I can tell uh, you uh, that uh, I'm really happy in uh, in the club to work here, and uh, I have uh, uh, a really good relationship with with the club. Um, we talk uh, every day, every day with the club, and uh, we try to to find in every situation the best uh, uh, the the best solution. But um, I think that. Uh, we have six months, six months, and uh, to um, to stay together, uh, to 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 enjoy the situation, and then uh, uh, we'll find the I repeat the the best solution. But um, I'm really happy. I'm really happy here, and uh, this is very very important for me. Grazie. Buon Natale. Buon Natale anche a tutti e famiglia, anche a tutti voi. Hi, Hi. Um, you mentioned nineteen ninety four. Yeah. In in one side, for sure, uh, uh, you can be disappointed. But in in the other side, uh, and for the second time in a row, and the France uh, reached the the final for the World Cup, and uh, this is a big, big, big achievement because in this tournament uh, they are really difficult. And uh, uh, Hugo is uh, uh, he won he won the the, the World Cup, uh, and uh, for sure. Uh, for him, it was a great, no, great chance to uh, to win uh, twice the World Cup and uh, to do something uh, extraordinary in your in your career. But uh, at the same time, I think uh, we are uh, um, about Hugo. Uh, he showed also in this World Cup that he's uh, a fantastic goalkeeper and uh, he is the captain of France and that. I think that this is uh, a big achievement to reach the final. Then uh, you know, when you you, you play the final, uh, uh, you want to win. But um, everybody who played the uh, important level, uh, you won a lost final. And uh, if I have to tell you how many finals I I lost, and uh, we stay here <laughs> one hour. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and uh, you can win, you can uh, lose, but at the same time, I repeat, to reach the final, uh, this is a big achievement for, for France. And uh, in one side, we are uh, uh, a bit disappointed for Hugo, but we are happy no? for, for Cuti, for Romero, because for him, uh, it was the first time uh, to become a uh, uh, World Cup champion. Yeah. There are two thoughts about the World Cup and how many players teams have had away. Spurs have nearly, nearly all your players were at the World Cup a lot. Some teams like Brentford would have very few. And the view is either those at the World Cup will be fitter, they'll have played for the last month so they'll be match fit against those that maybe had two weeks break and then haven't had a match for six weeks. Where do you stand? Are you better off being a manager of a team where your players, a lot of them have been away playing at the World Cup, or are you better off what we see being a team whereby very few players. <laughs> but uh, for, for uh, uh, yeah, but um, in one end you are happy because uh, um, yeah, for for uh, for my club for Tottenham to have uh, twelve players and the World Cup, uh, it means that uh, is. Uh, we are in the right way, no, and uh, to try to be competitive uh, uh, and to try in the future to to win something. Uh, um, it's normal that uh, when uh, you have uh, uh, so many players to to play uh, a tournament like this, uh, especially during the season, and then uh, now it's it's not easy. It's not easy because the the physical condition is not at the top. It's impossible for for um, to give them 
uh, a lot of rest and um, yeah for sure we with the players that uh, they didn't play the, the World Cup and we worked for uh, for weeks uh, now they are uh, they are in uh, a great physical condition we worked a lot under the tactical aspect under the physical aspect uh, now they are in a, in a level that is better no than the players that finish the, the World Cup for this reason, uh, I think that uh, I have uh, I have also two days to make the best decision uh, for the game against Brentford because uh, um, in one side I have the players that we worked for weeks and uh, they are uh, really well. In the other side, uh, you have players that worked the uh, World Cup and uh, they are not at the top in this moment. I have to try to to, to make the best decision uh, and uh, because I repeat. It would be a, refi a really difficult game against Brentford. Have a great question. <laughs> you too, thank you. Hey. So, of course, next up will be Brentford on Boxing Day. They appear to enjoy coming up against the so called big sides. Um, they will be beating Manchester City and Manchester United already so far this season. So, with that in mind, how wary should you and your players be of the threat that they possess? Mm, I didn't understand well. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. With that in mind, how wary should you be of them and the threat that Thomas Frank presents? Yeah, but for sure, I think uh, in this season uh, uh, it's difficult for uh, for everybody, for everybody, for uh, for all the clubs that uh, um, they have many players involved in the World Cup, and uh, to play in a so short time, uh, it uh, it won't be easy. Won't be easy, and uh, for sure uh, for us uh, to play against Brentford, uh, uh, also last season was really difficult because we are talking about uh, a team. They are uh, really strong physically, they are really good in set pieces, uh, and uh, we had to pay great attention, and uh, because uh, is uh, is strange, is a strange situation, is a strange situation, and um, honestly, honestly. Uh, to play so quickly after only one week after the World Cup, I think that um, is not uh, is not the. I'm not I'm not really happy, but I think uh, uh, the old managers uh, think uh, think like me. But at the same time, uh, and to to play in uh, Christmas period, uh, I know that is a exciting moment for. Uh, for the fans, uh, for the county, yeah, uh, for us uh, uh, less, because I repeat, we have to to live with this type of situation. And this season, this season uh, is much more difficult than uh, the previous season. Yeah. Yeah, uh, to to play uh, after uh, 41, yeah, and uh, days uh, and uh, um, it's strange. It's strange because usually you have this time to uh, to prepare, no, to prepare the, the new season during the summer after your players uh, uh, rested and uh, your mind was uh, was clear. And instead, uh, also during the, the World Cup, uh, yeah, I followed uh, my my players uh, with a finger cross because uh, you know very well you can lose players, important players. It happened uh, that Richarlison had the problems and uh, Betancourt had the problems, Ben Davis had uh, problems, and uh, is a. Uh, uh, a fresh start, a new fresh start for the players that we play, we we worked for four weeks. But for the others, uh, uh, is a big effort in my opinion. It's a big effort, and uh, I don't know which is uh, their answer. I don't know honestly because this is the first time to to face this type of situation. Thank you very much. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, about Richardson, and uh, I spoke with the medical department. Yeah, uh, yeah, they said me that uh, we need three, four weeks, still three, four weeks, and uh, his injuries was uh, a serious injury. But about Lucas Mora and Lucas Mora, we didn't have him from the start of the season, and we are continuing to don't have him. He has this problem, and uh, he's struggling a lot to find a, a solution. And uh, for sure, it's a difficult situation, uh, Lucas Mora, and uh, because I have a, a, a good player in my squad, but he is never available. Uh, he's like that; you don't have him. And it's a pity because I repeat, we are talking about a good player, a good, uh, a good guy, but he's struggling a lot to to solve this problem. And I, I don't know, I don't know uh, in the future what uh, what happened about him. George, hi. Yeah, but uh, about Fraser, uh, we are talking about a reliable uh, uh, keeper, a good keeper. And uh, um, I remember when uh, when I was the coach of uh, of Juventus that yeah, he played with uh, with Celtic, and uh, he impressed me a lot during the game because we we played the uh, not the quarter final, uh, the uh, 16. Yeah, yeah against Celtic and uh, yeah we are talking about a really a good professional player and um, he's uh, reliable and uh, uh, yeah I can count about him and uh, yeah he's going to play he's going to play against Brentford yeah we'll have to make this the last one in this section so Jack. hey But uh, what I want uh, to do the club, I think that it's not right to tell this. And uh, I think that uh, in every in every club, uh, and uh, there is the uh, uh, yeah, the, the coach and uh, sporting director and the, the owner no? uh, to try to uh, to speak about about the situation. And uh, yeah, I can give uh, uh, advices. To, to my club, no, the way to try to to improve, to improve the the, the team, to improve the quality in the squad, mm, especially because uh, uh, after uh, uh, five months, and uh, the situation uh, mm, has changed, no, from the start of of, of the season. I think that uh, if there is the opportunity to strengthen the squad, we d will do, we'll do something. You know which is our politics, and uh, you know very well which is our politics, and uh, and, and we will try, we'll try to to follow these politics and uh, to to improve the team. Yeah, if there is the possibility to strengthen the the squad, we'll do we'll do it. Otherwise, we continue with uh, uh, with these players. That um, I repeat, and uh, I'm happy. Uh, with, with them. So just to try to clarify, when you said politics, do you mean the, the policy of the club, as in what the club normally does? No, but uh, you know, and about about the sign, no, about the sign of players, and about uh, young players, about uh, players with not uh, big salary, and uh, yeah, and this, uh, and uh, we have to to sign players that they can stay in our. Uh, 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 in our vision, you understand, in the vision of the club, uh, yeah, and uh, okay. We'll, we'll move on to the written section now. So, Tom, let's keep going. Hi, Antonio. Yeah.